Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm going to show you how to generate an analog output signal using a PCI Express data acquisition device. If we look over to this desktop computer here, I've actually got a PCI Express X-Series multifunctioned DAC device already installed in the PCI Express slot and I've got it cabled over to this BNC connector block. And in this connector block I've got BNC access to all of my different I.O. channels and if you look, I've actually got analog output zero wired over to analog input zero. So I can generate a signal and measure that back in. And if we turn over to lab view here, you can see I've already got my analog output VI running, my analog input VI already running. And you can see at this point, I'm just measuring a flat line. Uh, nothing's changing. And the block diagram for that VI is pretty simple. It's just the DAC assistant. And I can basically just send that right to a graph. And, um, and I can monitor what's happening on that analog output channel. So I'm going to minimize that, and then let's take a look at this blank VI here and see what it's like to actually generate signals using LabVIEW and this PCI Express data acquisition device. I can put both of these windows here side by side, and I'm going to right click on the block diagram. I'm going to drop down the DAC assistant. The data acquisition assistant is a configuration-based wizard. It's actually the same wizard that I used to, to take measurements, but in this case, I'm going to use it to generate signals. So I'm going to click on Generate Signal. I'm going to click on analog output, and I just want to generate a voltage signal. Then the wizard's going to say it's going to detect what devices I have installed, and so I'm going to select analog output zero because that's what we've wired to on the BNC connector block, and I can hit finish. And now it's just going to ask what types of parameters I want when I'm generating an analog output signal. Let's begin by just setting the generation mode to one sample on demand. So this will be a software timed output where one at a time I can update points and then measure that back in. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I want to be able to do that continuously until I hit a stop button. So I'm just going to right click and wire up a, uh, drop down a while loop structure. In LabVIEW, a while loop structure is how you can continuously execute graphical code until some stop condition is met. And in this case, it's this stop button here. I can see the corresponding stop button appear on my front panel, and I'm going to make this a little bigger. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to drop down a numeric control. And this slide control will allow me to give the user on the front panel access to what value I want to be generating. So then if I go back to the block diagram, I can see this corresponding slide terminal, and I'm just going to wire this directly up to the DAC assistant. That's pretty much all I need to do. I can move this front panel over to the right and hit Run. And now, I can use my user interface to change the voltage that I'm generating. I can go anywhere between negative 10 and 10 volts. So you can see I can go down up. And you can see I'm measuring the corresponding value over on the analog input VI. Well, that's how you would generate one point at a time. But what, let's say you wanted to generate an analog waveform. Well, there's actually an Express VI available to help you with that as well. If we go back to the block diagram, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to the signal, the simulate signal express VI. And when I drop this down, you can see it gives me a number of different options to generate the waveform signal of my choice. And so I'm going to just choose a basic sine wave in this case, and I'm going to change the amplitude to 5 volts, so it'll go between negative 5 and 5 volts. And I'm going to change my samples per second to be a little bit quicker, so I want to generate, let's say, 10,000 samples per second, and I can hit OK. Now, instead of my slide control going to the data input terminal. I'm going to delete that wire, and I'm going to wire up the output of the simulate signal into the DAC assistant. And that way I can send that waveform directly to the DAC assistant instead. I also want to go into the DAC assistant and reconfigure that so that I can generate waveform signals instead of just one point at a time single samples. So I can go back down to generation mode. I'm going to now do continuous samples, and I'm going to write 1,000 samples per second. Now I can hit OK, and I've still got this slide control that really isn't connected to anything right now. Let's wire this up to the frequency terminal of the, sig of the Simulate Signal Express VI. And that way, I can give the user some access to update the frequencies on the fly, and, um, and that way I can still use my slide control for that. So I'm going to wire the slide control into this frequency terminal here. I'm going to move this block diagram, uh, the front panel, over again. And now when I hit Run, you can see I'm generating signals. I'm going to change my range here on the slide from 0 to 500 because now it's a frequency range. So I'm going to go between 0 and 500 hertz. And as I speed up the frequency, 
you can see the corresponding input terminal actually measuring the voltage that I'm generating. And uh, you can see I'm able to vary the frequency of my sine wave now in software. So that is how you generate analog output signals using a PCI Express data acquisition device in LabVIEW.